speak to us Lord we are listening Father speak to us that we are ready oh Lord to pay heed to your voice we are ready Lord and we surrender ourselves to you the Lord we know the Lord being good alone will not put us among the sheep that you are talking about Therefore, Lord, we surrender, O oh Lord, our faith before Thee. Lord, we want to have the relationship with You, that intimacy with You. That, Lord, when You speak, we can clearly hear You. Father, those that put their hope in You, You do not leave them nor forsake them. Therefore, Lord, have your own way in us, O God, and speak to us, O Lord. Because, Lord, when you speak to us, O Lord, we will hear. Because you know us, O Lord. Why? Because we follow you. Therefore, Lord, we have come unto you, Lord, speak unto our situation. Because when you speak over our situation, Lord, billions of failures disappear. Every disappointment will disappear because you have spoken in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, release every favor that, Lord, each and every one needs, O God. Father, that Lord, those that join us and who will come and listen later, oh God, their time will not be in vain, oh Lord. Because it is your will, oh Lord, to heal them. Because your word said, I am the Lord that healed thee. So no matter what, when we even ask ourselves, is it God will for us to be healed? We can boldly say that, yes, we knew that because you are the Lord that healed thee. Therefore, Lord, we are calling upon you to speak over our situation in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Have your own way, O Lord, in us. Have you said it and you wouldn't do it? 
You will do it because you are a loving father. You are still listening to Akoku Africa Radio UK. Inspirational time with myself. I say, praise God. Sano Nipa. Oh, would you lift up your hands? Oh God, yes, if you raise it so high, raise it. And Sano Nipa.
Father, those that put your hope in you, you never disappoint. And you never put them into shame. We love you, God. Because today we know that, Lord, you will speak over our situation. But I know that someone out there is wondering. This problem that I'm going through is too difficult for the Lord to deal with it. It's too big for the Lord to deal with it. Hey, can this be possible that our Father can heal me? We even ask ourselves questions about this sickness, this cancer, this diabetes, this heart disease. What have been diagnosed with? It's too big for the Lord to deal with it. We underestimate our Father and we grieve the Holy Spirit. But it's critically important that we believe and know that our God is an omnipotent God. It's all powerful who has a greater influence on us that will lead us into the purpose that he has chosen for us. Therefore, there is nothing too hard for him. Akoku's family, can I repeat this? There is nothing, there is nothing beyond the scope of his power. When he speaks, things change around. There is nothing too hard for the Lord. I know some people will think I'm too subjective. I come to see you and say, God is good. And you guys need to accept it. Because I don't know what you are going through. But as I said to you before, whatever you need, whatever you want, I equally want the same thing from the Lord. But I knew that at the point in time, he will speak on my situation. But even if you don't believe me, I'll just give you an example. Then when I give you this example, after this program, you go out there, implement it. Put an action to the words that you had. Someone close to me had an operation, um, I think early February. Within that week, he was not able to fat or poo. They did an estuary and the Lord, uh, what do you call it? the doctor said, the only way forward is to do another operation because the estuary indicates that something has literally collapsed at where the abdomen is. So the only way that this person that was close to me can fat and pull to have a second operation. So they came to me, they spoke to both of us. We agree that the next day they will do that operation. Guess what? After the doctor left, within a microsecond, this person said to me, I want to fart and poo. I took him to the toilet and he did exactly that. But just a minute ago, we were told that the results of the scan or the x-ray indicate that that thing that is collapsed in there shows that he can pull or fat. And yet when the doctor left, he said to me, I want to fat and poo. What the Lord wants to tell us is, I just want these people to see what is in there for them to know what I will do after the results of the scan. And the Lord spoke on his situation suddenly. I know you know the one I'm talking about. 
He's close to me, even more than my skin. So it's not about hearsay. Or it's not about a story that I'm telling you. That person is really close to me. So if a doctor said without a second operation to adjust whatever is in there around the abdomen, he wouldn't be able to fight and pull. And yet when the doctor left, he said he wants to fight and pull and he did that. And the operation did not come on. Who could have done this? It's only God. So you can't tell me there is no God. Look at all this beautiful galaxy. The sea, the rivers. You can't tell me there is no God. You can't tell me there is no God. So even if you don't have any faith, listening to Akoko Africa Radio Inspirational Time, I think you should run with this. If a doctor said without operation, this person cannot fight and pull, and yet without it, he was able to do it, and he was discharged without any operation, then there is nothing indeed too difficult for the Lord. Ask him to speak over your situation. Ask the Lord to speak over your situation. You have kidney problem. Ask him. Whatever your circumstance, I don't know. I can't name them, you know, and even before you ask, the Lord know it already. If you want promotion, ask the Lord. It's the Lord that gives promotion without any pain, without any regret, without any mental torture. Ask the Lord to speak on your situation. You want change from the workplace through discrimination and all that, let the Lord speak over it. All you need to do is to ask and he will do it. You have your own business. You are self-employed and you want the Lord to move you from the surviving mode. He will do it. He will not allow you only to survive till the end, but he will make sure you will thrive and flourish and compete with the big companies not only here but the whole world world because he said the thoughts i have for you are not evil but they are good thoughts into an expected end and he will make you prosper you are not going to live in sorrow here and say that oh when i go to heaven i'll go enjoy he said whatever you want in heaven is equally here so you will enjoy here through hard working working in line with god having that holy life Placing your faith in him, having that relationship, intimacy with him. You will enjoy life here. And when you go out there, you will go and continue. All you need to do is to believe. And pour your heart out. And ask him to speak over your situation. Ask him to speak over your situation. Because there is nothing too hard for him. And I pray that every testimony I've given, I sold it with the blood of Jesus. That that healing would take place. And that healing that has already taken place will be permanent. And nothing will come forth. Because I've sold it with his blood. And anything that anyone needs, today you joining us will not be in vain. Because the Lord picked you to be here, chose you to be here. Therefore your heart desire will be accomplished. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Yeshua HaMashiach. That this day will not be any ordinary day. Because that is not the purpose of we being here. It is to honor our Father. And to grant us a heart is sad because he said whatever we want, we should ask and he will give us. So believe in him. Pray. I always say pray because when you pray, it does break billions of disappointments, failures. It breaks, it breaks it, it breaks it. Prayer moves our father. So all you need to do is to believe in him. Place your faith in him and everything will come together. All you need to do is to recognize who it is. It is the beginning and the end. And with him, there is nothing too hard for him to do. Recognize who it is and forget about your problem. 
and surrender it before him and he will do it praise god you are still listening to akoko africa radio uk inspirational time with ac praise god African Radio UK. the Holy Ghost. Father, we ask that, Lord, you speak over our situation. Each and individual, Lord, has his own problem, Lord. But today, Lord, we've come before your throne, O Lord, with thanksgiving, O Lord, that, Lord, we ask that you speak over our situation, O Lord. Father, I don't know for me to mention them, but, Lord God, you knew each and everyone's heart, O Lord, that lord as they call upon you and they open their mouth father you will meet them oh lord and speak over their situation oh lord that lord god whatever the doctor have said in their life will not be the final thing because you have a different thought over their lives whatever people think anna is in the bible at the appointed time oh lord you gave him someone Therefore, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that, Lord, you provide each and every one needs a God. That, Lord, we call upon you that, Lord, you release favor upon each and every one, O Lord, that you will speak in each and every one's life, O God, that, Lord, each and every one that have been here will never be in vain because you have spoken because you have spoken in their lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth with the lord speak on their lives oh god whatever the situation whatever the pain whatever cut issue whatever it is lord speak oh lord in their lives my heart ila boskatama ila maskata har ila har yalama Ila mahari ala boskata har ila mahari ala ma bahari ila boskata ma ila hari ala boskata har ila ma la hari ila boskata har ila har ila ma la hari ala boskata har ila har ila hari ala ma ila hari ala boskata ma ila ma we the Lord speak O oh God speak O oh Lord speak O oh Lord. And let it be a testimony because you have spoken on their lives. And we know that, Lord, there is nothing, Lord. There is nothing too hard for you. 
you are a man of authority that when you speak that will be final therefore lord we are going to hearken unto your voice and we are willing god father we are willing oh god to listen to you and we are going to obey you because sometimes when you speak oh lord that is not what we want to hear but when we work towards it that is where our breakthrough is therefore lord speak oh lord and we are going to pay heed to you we will hearken unto your voice and i know that it shall be well with us what shall we give unto you our life we will surrender everything before thee because we believe who you are we believe who you are it might feel like god you are not in it but i knew i knew with my personal experience and encounter i've had with you i know you are in it and suddenly you will speak because i was told that this person close to me cannot pull and fight and yet when the doctor left he was able to pull and fight without operation they recommended therefore there is nothing too hard for you therefore i hold on on to that testimony and i know that person children's children's children will testify that your name will be glorified father never let this day be an ordinary day but it should be a day full of testimony by the power of the holy ghost that lord each and everyone as they open their mouth and as even within them oh god the little faith the little drop of faith that they have oh god you will give them the infinite breakthrough the unlimited breakthrough that they so desire that your name, O oh Lord, will be glorified. We want to be among your sheep, O oh Lord, therefore quicken our spirit. We want, O oh God, you to know us and we want to follow you. Therefore quicken our spirit because we are ready, O oh Lord, to follow you. Have your own way, O oh Lord, in us. Because there is nothing too hard for you. If someone is in doubt, all you need to do, just have a little bit of faith in him. And he will amaze you. As I said, it's not here to say or story. But it's my personal encounter. It's not that I'm being subjective. That you should accept the father he's god and he's god and he's good and he's good he is the healer he is the healer but my personal encounter so i believe in my opinion and i know what i was talking about because indeed it is good all you need to do is to have the relationship with him and place your faith in him and when he speaks you will hear him clearly and fast because he is a loving God haven't we all need help and healing but it doesn't change the fact he is God so we are going to hold on on to that that he is God and we will get our breakthrough all you need to do is to believe in him I beg of you believe in him you want understanding and wisdom to pass your exams he will give you he will even remind you to go over your assignments and you will see the mistakes that you have done this is not cheating but that is the father we are serving if you can even hear him clearly it will help you through your assignment that is the father and the benefit we get from him when we have that relationship with him all you need to do is to place your faith in him even if you don't believe i just just a little drop of it is enough and he will see you through 
he will see you through because it is a love and a faith with God and a good one. You are still listening to Akoku Africa Radio UK, Inspirational Time with AC. It's time to praise our Father, so we are going to dance. And know that whatever you have spoken to your Father, He will do it. Because it is a love and Father. We are going to praise Him and dance because He has spoken. Praise God. You are still listening to Akoko Africa Radio UK, Inspirational Time with myself, AC. Oh, 
Thanks belongs to our father. Just a reference with what I said earlier on. Our theme is to ask the Lord to speak on our situation. And I believe what we need to do is to be willing to listen to him. And we need to obey and respect what he tells us to do. Because sometimes when he speaks, that is not what we want to hear. But guess what? That is where our breakthrough will come from and we need to take something out of what I'm saying today then after you go out there and implement it and believe in the Lord that no matter how your situation looks like the Lord will speak over it I know you ask yourself is it God will for me to overcome this pain or for me to be healed is said i am the lord that healer thee so all you need to do embrace his promise and it shall be well with us praise god <laughs> First of all, I'd like to thank our Father for what He's doing and what He's about to do. Santhia from Croydon, I want to read your message. You are clapping to the Lord and you said Amen. He said, God bless you for this encouraging words. Amen. God bless you, AC. Thank you, Santhia. And I know that our Lord will see us through in everything. Whatever your desire, I believe and know the Lord will make it come to reality because it is a faithful Lord. All we need to do is to place our faith in Him and it will come to pass. Praise God.
You are still listening to Akoko Africa Radio UK, inspirational time with myself, AC. I just need to make a request. I want someone to challenge Pastor Beidu once again for me. So I'm still waiting for someone to challenge him. And I know there's someone out there who would definitely challenge him. So bring it on, Pastor Beidu. Once again, you are still listening to Akuku Africa Radio UK, inspirational time with myself. I want to read a message from Pastor Bedi. He says, Sweetest AC, you are something. Yes, to the glory of God, I am something, Pastor Bedi. But we are coming for you. Someone is coming to challenge you. Praise God. Thank you for all your lovely message. And God bless you. I would like to extend my gratitude to our ultimate father in heaven, also to Irene, our boss, Ni, Janelle, Lydia, Rose, Anyami, Roberta, Crow and family, my you, I hope you're doing good. Cynthia and family from Croydon, Rhoda and family, Smart Food, Amma McLean, my brother-in-law Ofori, Gifty, father-in-law Mr. Jumo and family, Auntie Charlotte, Perry, Lorna, Love and Ayeyi, Akbi from Totin Heath and family, Rooney, Vaughn, Atipo and family, Diana, Jonas, Pastor Patrick and wife, Pastor Alice and family, DJ Corby, the fireman, my daughter and son, Amma and Kojo, and our only Joyce and Nilaye. God bless you for listening to us. And I know that we'll meet again. Thank you so much for your help. And I want you to enjoy the praises as you dance to glorify the Lord because you know in your heart that the Lord has answered your prayer whatever you've asked him he will speak on your situation and his only name will be glorified we are not competing with anyone it's all about our father and his name will be glorified praise god you are still listening to akoko africa radio uk inspirational time with myself ac enjoy the praises I have come to give you worship. I have come to give you thanks. I have come to give. 
Our Father who has begun will accomplish it. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost that anything that He has started in our lives today, He will accomplish it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Yeshua HaMashiach. I pray for favor. 
I pray for the Lord to answer your needs. I pray that Lord, whatever you want the Lord to do for you, it will come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Once he had begun, it is going to end it in a good way. That will put a smile in our face. Therefore, Father, we give you praise, O oh God, because we knew and we believed that, Lord, once you have started, O oh Lord, you will end with us, O oh God. You will finish with us, that, Lord, your name only, O oh God, will be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ila boskata bahar ila hari ala boskata ma mahari ila bahari ala boskata ma ila hari ala maskata bahar ila ma I release healing upon your life favor and whatsoever you need I release the answering prayer door that the Lord will answer you as you walk in line with Him. And as you place your faith and have that intimacy relationship with him, that when he speaks, you will hear him clearly. And you will do what he says you should do. That at the end, his holy name will be glorified. We thank you, Lord. We know that, Lord, once you've started it, you will accomplish it. That as you have chosen us to be here will never be any other day but it's the day of testimony it's the day of testimony that your name oh god will be glorified we thank you oh god father i pray over businesses oh lord over businesses oh lord that father you see them through oh god Whatever they need their breakthrough, Father, let it be. And give them, O oh Lord, a sustainable plan that will make them, O oh God, their job or their business succeed. But it should not end there, Lord, that they will flourish, O oh God, they will thrive, that your name will be glorified and all eyes will see and testify and they will know that indeed it's from you. Have your own way, O oh Lord. Once, Lord, you have begun, it, Lord, you will accomplish what you have started. Because that is your nature. And that is who you are. And that is what you are good at. We thank you, O Lord, for an answered prayer. We give you all the praise of God. We say, Lord, take all the honor, take all the glory. Because you are God. We thank you, O Lord. Because you have answered our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, Lord God, unless I forget, it's not because of what you are going to do for us. That is why we are here, but because of who you are. You are indeed the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. I am that I am. There is none like you. And among the Lord, among the gods, there is no one like you. That is why, Lord, we have come before you. Not only because of what we will get from you, but it's because of who you are. We thank you, O oh Lord. And we bless your holy name. Because you are God. And you forever, O oh Lord, be the loving God that we knew. In Jesus Christ's name of Nazareth, our Yeshua Hamashiach. You are still listening to Akoko Africa Radio UK. Inspirational time with myself, Asim. Praise God.
thank you so much for still being with us here we appreciate the fact that you were able to join us and i believe we will see you all once again next week but before then i like you when it's three o'clock you join in and listen to our only fireman Kobe show and the name of the artist is going to interview his name is Kwiku Afro he is also a very good artist and you will enjoy his music so I urge all of you three o'clock you listen to him but the interview will be on on four o'clock we are going to leave you with cools we are not done yet one more song we are going to dance and to glorify our holy father thank you so much for joining us and god bless you and i hope your testimony will overflow that our father's name will be glorified as you know judgment day the lord will ask me what business did i do with his son and i have to encounter everything just give an account to everything you know but i know that the holy spirit will take me through and that day will come that we will be with him and we will give all our praise to him up there as well thank you for being with us and god bless you and may his blood be a shield around you as you go by your day by day business activity and we meet again next week God bless you.